here is my Kohler Elliston Revolution 360. This is comfort height and elongated. It's 104 pounds and I definitely felt that when I was carrying it. And here's a picture of it on the front. It's actually a pretty nice looking toilet. I don't usually care for the modern designs but this one seems pretty nice. It's already been opened because this is a damaged product. The little slip that was taped to it when I got it said that it has a crack. So I checked it out and this lid I believe is totally destroyed. I am going to pull the tank out. I'm going to cut the plastic wrap on the front and the back while the tank is standing upright so that the lid doesn't fall apart. So I took it out of the box. You can see some of the parts in there. But now I'm going to cut the plastic wrap. And this is why I don't use these knives in the kitchen anymore. It's because they are not sharp at all. There we go. Here's the instructions. Here are the bolts and the or the bolt caps. It's got a little drip in there for some reason and the chain isn't connected. Here's the date code on the back. Despite the rest of the toilet being broken, the tank looks pretty good. And the outlet on this aqua piston, I believe, is actually smaller than normal. So, here's the lid now. Actually, this doesn't look too bad. I just heard and saw all the, all the pieces and thought it was totally ruined. But it's just got a chunk missing on the side. I guess I'll show this when I have the toilet set up. But anyway... Here is the bowl now. Looks like it fell over. It's got some pretty bad damage. The crack goes all the way up to here. And basically this whole side can probably just fall out. There is a California warnings. And this inlet is actually really small. Never seen one like that before. But yeah, this definitely does not have a bright future. The inside of it is really interesting. It almost looks like an American Standard Cadet 2 trapway opening, but it is quite a bit larger. So I am going to get this out of the box and hope I don't break it anymore. And I'll give it a quick look and then I'll piece it back together and show you guys the flush. So, from the looks of it, all I have to do is patch up this crack, but it doesn't look like any actual holes are in the toilet. Obviously, if I were to flush it, water would drip out of there, so I am going to try sealing that back up, and maybe just for the appearance, I might glue that piece back together, but it looks still fully flushable. The bottom is fully intact. This part... Aside from that, chip is intact, so I'll definitely be able to set it up. <clears throat> the seat's in good shape. I might be scratched from the piece hitting it, but I don't know. So, I'm going to go ahead and caulk this back together, and I will set it up and show you guys the first flush. I pieced it back together and set it all up, so now I'll show you guys the repairs I made and give you the first ever flush.
so right here I did glue this piece back together by the seat then if we look down here I put caulk all down there because there's a big crack that just basically goes from the top of the rim all the way down to the bottom of the trapway there's a chip right there and that ends at the front then if we look inside you'll see some more repairs that I did I put caulk all around the inside of it so that it will hold water and I was very careful not to get caulk on this channel so it doesn't disrupt the water flow but anyway that's all for the inside of the bowl on the tank lid I just glued this piece back on and a couple more in the back Now it's time for the first ever flush. That was pretty cool. I honestly think this is really interesting. I don't really like this kind of toilet very much, but that flush was super interesting. I'm gonna wait for the tank to fill a little bit and then give you guys another flush. But also another thing you may notice is that it sort of curves inward right here. Like it's wider at this point than it is here because that's where the water channel goes and they don't want it to splash over on the rim. So just look at the toilet for a moment and see this side like slopes into the bowl a little bit. It's really interesting and I don't think I've ever seen a toilet with an off-centered rim. So except the Glacier Bay but that was due to bad quality. But anyway I'm going to hold the handle and give you guys another flush. Once again, a super interesting design. Not something I'd install myself, but this is definitely going to be a very interesting toilet to do tests on. So now it looks like there's a little leak of water right here, just like on the Denali. I think it comes from right about there. Then if we look around on the side, there's some more water that comes from up here. But honestly, it's really not a big deal at all because it still flushes just fine. But anyway, that is all for this video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.